Come back to further solutions and calibrate. Further solutions academy encourage us more help us to share our video and subscribe to our channel help us to subscribe to our channel please if you have not subscribed before make sure you subscribe to it and help us to share to your friends to everybody uh in this video i'll be walking you to complex number and uh, just to revise complex number normally we're on complex analysis the first thing I want us to work on forms of complex number. The second one we have a positive and negative power. The third one addition and subtraction of complex number, uh, multiplication and division of complex number, argon diagram, which is a graphical representation of um, complex number, polar form, exponential and log forms of uh, complex number, property of property of conjugate of complex number you know that is what i'm going to work on by the end of this video you will understand all this now to start if we are talking about complex number complex number is always in this form um for instance what normally generate complex number for instance, whenever you are pressing your calculator, your electronic machine that you have something like a, a undefined, I mean, um, a complex, you know, like for instance, if I have x minus s plus 9 equals to 0. Now, this is a complex equation. This is a complex equation. And I've told us when you, when we are doing our equation that there are three types of roots. We have equal roots. We have uh, equal root, we have distinct root, and we have complex root. Looking at this, we have our complex root. Because of what? What I'm having here, x squared will be equals to minus root of 9, which is after root this, my s will be equals to 3 high. That is, the complex there is 3 high. Now, if means my high, it's always in form of minus 1. My high equals to root of minus 1. Anytime we are having something like this, we always call it a complex number. When you call it no complex number. Now, when it's any time, we have a comp is, is, is something like this, it means we are having a complex number. Now, uh, for instance, root of any given number, root of 16, root of minus 64, it will always be uh, 8i. Root of any number you can form of a uh, always called complex number. Now, Okay, that is genesis of complex number. That is where it's always originated from. Now, um, for instance, when I have x squared plus x plus 1 equals to... Now, this is a complex equation, which is when you solve it, you have a complex root. Now, it means I'll be having my running to my minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, running towards this, it means my a equals to 1, b equals to 1, c equals to 1. It means my x will be equals to minus 1, minus 1, plus or minus root of 1 square minus 4, 1, 1, everything must be covered, divided by 2. Now, x equals to minus 1, plus or minus root of minus, minus p. Yes, divided by uh, by divided by 2. Now, it means by so doing this, this is what? It means my s can be equal to minus 1, 1 all over 2, minus, I mean plus, root of 3 all over what? 2, or x equals to minus 1 over 2, minus root of minus 3 all over 2. Now, this, because of this root, this part, which is which what we can express as what complex root. Now, at this point, I can express as as a normal way of what of our representing our complex number, which I can say that we are used to z. Now, I think I'm now on complex now. Now, z equals to a plus b i. Now, or z or I call it z. Okay, let me use z. Let me be using z. 
Okay, let me use X. Anyhow, you want to, but I want to use X wherever or um, anyhow, this is how we represent. This is a representation of what? Now, this is forms, form of what? Complex numbers. That is form of complex number. It means you are having real. This is called real. We call this place if I have it Z equals to X plus what? Y, Z. Which is same as this. Yeah, A and B are constant and also X and Y are constant. It means my X is real and Y is called imaginary. Imaginary. Now, my Y is called imaginary. Now, that is all what we mean by complex number. That is what form complete one. It means A is equals to root of only minus 1 over 2 and the I is equals to um, root of. It means what I'm trying to say here is my A, or let me just say my A equals to minus 1 over 2. My B, it will be equal to um, root of 3 over 2. Now, which is, if I want to present it very well, we have a root of minus one which is also it will generate the high i'm referring to at the beginning of the journey now that is what we mean by what complex number that is what we mean by complex number now let me quickly explain power forms of what of the power complex number now if i'm talking about power form of complex number you have to understand positive uh integers power now, it means if I have root, we are told that root of minus 1 equals to i. That is what I mean by that. Now, root of i equals to that, which I can as well write as minus 1, 1 over 2, which is root our here. But which is, this is a, so, uh, this is called a root form, this is power form. Now, anytime we have that, please take note of that, very important. If I have it, i squared it means i'll be having um root of minus one multiplied by root of minus one which is to be equal to minus one and it means what i multiply this one by two what i'm trying to say there it means i'll be having what one now if i have it um i raised to power three it means i'll be having um root i squared dot i which is equals to minus one multiplied by what i okay minus one multiplied by i it means i'll be talking about what minus i minus i now if i have it above root of four it means i'll be having minus one multiplied by minus one which is square is equals to which is equals to one equals to one this is one now, if I have it in the form of, um, okay, I have it i raised to power 5. It means it will be equals to what? i. i raised to power 5 is equals to i. Now, if I have it in the form of uh, i raised to power 9, it means I'll be having i raised to power 4, bracket of um, 2, which is 8, and what? i, which is 8, which is, and what I'm playing around here, I'm playing around with my indices. Let behind indices. That one I'm playing around it with here. This one will give me um, 1, which is 1 times 1. It means it means to be what? I. 1 times 1, it will be what? Because I squared is always, I raised to power 4 is 1. I raised to power 4 is 1. Now, which is, I will be back to what? Normal I. Now, move on to the next one. If I have um, I raised to power 20, it will be at what? I raised to power 4, bracket of Five. I raised power four prior to which is going to be one, which is going to be what? One. Which is going to be one. To be one. Now, if I move on to the and so on and so forth, and so on. If it's I raised power 15, for instance, I have I, I raised to power 15. It means I'll be talking about what? I raised to power 4 multiplied by 3 dot I. Dot I raised to power 2. Yes. I raised to power 4, it means this time it's going to be 12, 12, which is power law in indices. 12, and um, it means I raised to power 12 plus, uh, 12 plus 2, 8, 3, this is going to be 3. 
three. This one will give me one. One times one, one it means it's going to be one multiplied by i raised to power three. i raised to power three is always equal to minus i, which is my answer will be minus i. Please learn how to do all this and it can be coming in another form. Now, that is, if it is, if it is negative power, negative integer power. Now, this time I run, it means I have to understand I will run it towards my sort. When I have a, for instance, I have my i raised to power, if i raised to power minus one. Now, i raised to power minus one. Minus one is a, minus one is a negative form. It means I'll be talking about one all over what? One all over i, one all over i. And there's no way in mathematics, it's very wrong of me to have a problem this way. It means I must to, I mean, rationalize. When I rationalize, I'll be having it in form of what? Of this, which I'll be having uh, back to i all over minus one, which is empty as what? Minus i, which is empty as minus y. I, I can do the same and so on and so forth to that. If I have it like i raised to power two minus two, it means I can turn it to what? i raised to power minus two. It means I'll be talking about. Um, which I can also say 1 all over what? i squared. We all know that my i squared is equal to what? 1 all over what? Minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. And um, if I'm to do more of them, you can generate as many as, as, as many as you can on that side. Now, let me move on to the next one, because there's no time. I think I've settled the power forms of it. Now, let me quickly explain addition and subtraction of complex number. Addition and subtraction of okay. Now, when you are adding complex number, you should understand what is called lifetime. Now, the I and I can be added, and the one of, okay, imaginary can be added to imaginary, while the real can be added to what? To real. I've told you the real. The real part is the word, the one that has no attachment of I. Now, the one that is Attached to high is known as what imaginary. Now, for instance, if I'm to hide a room, now look at this one. I have four plus five i plus three minus two i. Now, and also two plus seven i minus seven seven i. And um, if I have this, now this one we explain addition. It means this one real. And imaginary, real and imaginary, real and imaginary. Now it means if I'm to hard on as hard on, I'll be having four plus five i plus plus what three minus two i. Now which when I collect my lifetimes, I'll be having uh three four plus three five i okay five i bracket of minus two. Now, which I'll be having, this one will give me 7 plus this one will give me 3 i. Now, it means my real and my imaginary. Now, in also, when I have the same thing here, which is in this place, I'll be having uh, 2 minus 2. Okay, I'll open my bracket, we all know that, which is plus 7 i, plus 7 i, and uh, plus 7. Now, this will cancel this. It means I have it is 0 plus 14i, which is, it means my a equals to 0, my b equals to 14. That is just so. Here, my a equals to 7, my b equals to 3. That is, it means my real is 7, my imaginary is 3. My real is 0, my imaginary is what? Is uh, 10. Now, let me clearly explain the one of multiplication part of this. Multiplication. Now, if it is multiplication, for instance, 3 minus 4i bracket of um, 2 plus 5i. Now, it means the normal way of expanding. And I've told you that when I'm having i squared, it will be minus 1, which is minus 1. Please don't don't forget that, which is I have root of minus 1 multiplied by root of minus 1, which is root times root is equal to minus 1. Now, which I've explained that, you have to understand that now. 
at this point. Now, it means I'll be having three bracket of two plus five i minus four i bracket of two plus five i. Now, which is I have six, I have fifteen i, I have eight i, I have minus uh, twenty i squared. Now, i squared will surely give me minus one. It means I'll be having six plus this and this, it will give me 1523. That will be, uh, if terms only come down, then which is going to be 8, 5, and 7, which is going to be 7. 7, I, now minus 20, minus 1. This multiplied by to be plus. It means 26 plus 7, I. That is what I mean there. This multiplied by this is to be plus, which is going to be 26 to be 26. Now, that is all about that. Now, when it becomes a division form of it, when it becomes division form of it, now, if it is division form, it means we must understand what is called, for instance, you must understand we are moving towards sword, which is normal sword of SS, uh, senior secondary school, and uh, for elementary class, like uh, when you have um, 2 plus 3i divided by 1 plus i. Now, this is the word. It's a very good example of it. Now, once it's like this, it means I must learn to what? Conjugate and rationalize. I must learn to conjugate and rationalize. It means by so doing this, I will conjugate this, which is which also rationalize it. I will conjugate this and rationalize it, which I will be having 1 plus 3i and also i minus i and divided by what? 1 plus um, 1 minus i squared, which I'll be having. What you can do your normal expansion and do your normal thing, and which to get you okay. Let me quickly do it. Finish. I'll be having 2, I'll be having minus 2i, I'll be having plus 3i, I'll be having mm, minus 3i squared divided by 1. Minus minus one. Uh, okay, I think minus one minus one, which is to be minus two. Without strengthening myself, it will be two. It will be two. Now, by so doing this, this one will be giving me. This is going to be five minus. This one will give me uh, i divided by two, which is I will say that three all over five plus i all over what two. It means my A equals to 5 all over 2, my B equals to what? 1 all over 2. And to say this is real, this is what? Imaginary. Imaginary. Now, please take note of that. This is my real and this is my imaginary. Now, with that, we are good to go. Now, let me move on to Agan diagram. Now, other than again, just like we are doing, we are representing our function in form of what uh, in a Cartesian plane, which is uh, we are using the s axis and y axis. Now, at this point, we'll be working on um, okay, but now let me let me just call it Hagan. Now, I call it Hagan diagram, or call it uh, Hagan diagram. Now, this time around, it means we are working on real and imaginary, which is our Cartesian plane. Our real is the x axis, our imaginary, which is, we are talking about z equals to plus y i. That is what we mean. It means here and what? Here. Now, this is one is my i. This is my what? My x. That is what we mean by what? Agan diagram. Now, anything that have here minus x naught, it means it fall on minus s axis, and this one will be what x naught, which is a positive x axis. Now this one will be negative y naught, and this one will be positive y naught. Now, anything from there, if a line come this way, and which is the logic behind and the logic behind that. Now, and this one, and this one. And this one now this 
these are there, various, various lines. Now, what is there is one. This one is my what? My Z. Let me call this one Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4. They are different functions. Which is, this one will give me, uh, what am I trying to do here is that my, okay, here will be what? X plus Y, I. That is just it. Okay, S not plus Y not, which is the function of not. Now, this one will give me um, 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 minus X not plus Y not I. That is what I'm talking about here. Why this one will give me minus S not minus Y not I. And this one will give me um, the here would be equals to okay. I have my S naught minus Y naught I. That is what we are talking about. It means we are trying to work on the, the, the plane, on the Cartesian plane. How it being formed? It means interaction between X and Y. The X is real and the Y is imaginary. Please don't forget because that's what I'm going to be quoting now. Let me quickly run to Cartesian, Cartesian, I mean polar form. If we are to talk about polar form, it means we must understand the logic behind trigonometry. We have to apply trigonometry at this point. Trigonometry is very, very important. Now, how do we use our trick? For instance, polar form, okay. Polar form. Polar, polar form. Now, in polar form, we must understand this Cartesian, I mean, this Agan diagram. Now, this is my, let me call this one X naught and Y naught. Now, it means this is the interaction between them, between them. Here, from here to here, we call it a, okay, this is my X naught, and this is my one. Okay. Okay, let me not use it. Let me not put. Let me put A. It means A and B. The movement here will be B, and this one will be what? A. Uh -huh. Now, here will be my R, which is my radius. Now, I can say that my sign, this is my angle, which is also B. Now, if I'm walking towards my so called which is my right angle to an angle, which I'm looking at the two of them, I'll be walking on the. Um, okay. My sine theta will be equals to b all over r. My cos theta will be equals to a all over r. It means my r, my my b will be equals to r sine theta, and uh, my a it will be equals to it will be equals to r cos theta. Now we all know that, and don't forget that my z is always represented by a plus b r. Which I will now say that uh, since I have it out, my z can be equal to what is my a? What is my my a is this? My b is this? It means I will say that uh, r cos theta plus i r sine theta i r sine theta, which my z can be equal to r bracket of cos theta plus i sine theta. Now. Which I have it this way. Since I have it this way, I can now say that this also can be written as my z can be equals to my z can be r r theta. This this is written as this c theta. That is very very important. At this at this point, I call it polar form. Now I call it polar form. For instance, let me quickly show example. Express express z equals to 4 plus 3i in polar form in polar form i don't need to stress myself what i'll just do is that uh, i will run towards this so okay let me quickly draw you the same way it means here will be what 4 which is my 4 now here will be 3 now, interaction between them, which is my R will be 4. Now, this is my angle. Now, the here will be 3, and here will be 4. 
Now, I can answer that what the next thing is I'll be having. Um, okay, I'll move on to what am I having now with R. I can say my R square equals to what four square plus uh, three square, which is with the help of um, Pythagoras theory, which I'll be having it to be equals to five, which is everything will be R equals to five now, which is 25. And with that, with that, I cannot continue by having my tan theta because I must know what my theta is saying. My theta, my tan theta will be equals to um, three all over five, which my theta will be equals to tan inverse of three all over five. Calculator, okay. Now, which with the help of calculator, I will have um, uh, that theta will be equals to. Um, 36.85 degree. Now, if that is my what? That is my angle. Okay, with that, I cannot continue by my z to be equals to r. I have my r, I have my theta. Which is R equals to cos theta plus I sine theta. I close the bracket. It means I'll be having what is my half? Five. Five bracket of uh, cos cos uh, 36.3 plus I sine 36.87. Now, whatever I have, which is I will call it five, six. Uh, three theta point uh, eight seven. That is what I'll be having now. That is what a polar form is talking about. If I'm to talking about an uh, exponential form, exponent exponential form. I won't do much here. It means I can say that my z equals to um r cos theta plus i sine theta which is i can as well write this as r e i theta now that is my exponential form now it means this is what polar form this is exponential form if i have it z z2 which is i r equals to cos theta minus this one can be r exponential minus i theta now it means that is my what exponential form. This is my exponential form. Please take note of that. This is my exponential form. Now, if I'm talking about um logarithm form, log form, log form. Now, because of uh, it means I'll be talking about um, uh, z equals to i e i theta, which it will be equals to ln, which implies now this is exponential form. Now I will now be lin z equals to um lin, lin r plus plus i theta i theta now lin r plus i theta the same thing if it is z equals to i exponential minus theta it also implies lin z equals to um lin r minus i minus minus theta i now that is what exponential form with this we can see all the forms of of a polar form now this is polar form this is polar form what i'm having here this is polar form this is exponential form this is logarithm or uh, log, uh, logarithm form now before i move to the next one i must explain conjugate in next video, we now work on the Movian theorem and other uh, tree function and uh, uh, hyperbolic function of polar form, of um, complex form, number form. Okay, now hyperbolic, that will be our next video. Now, before I move on, let me quickly explain our conj um, conjugate. When you hear what conjugate, okay. so, conjugate means if I have my z. Conjugate of complex number. For instance, if I have z equals to a plus b i. Now, conjugate of z it means I'm having it in this form. 
it means I'll be having a minus what? Now, what we'll be changing there is what? The sign attached to what? Imaginary parts. If the sign is plus, when you conjugate it, it will be minus. Now, let me quickly show you, uh, show you the property. Properties. Property of conjugate. conjugate. Now, the properties will just go this way. The first one, one if I have and uh, plus Z2, and I have it this way, it will be equal to um, 1 plus 2. Now, if I have it this way, I have um, uh, Z1, Z2 in terms of product form, which is product form, it means I'm having Z1 multiplied by Z2. Now, that is very good. Number three, which I'll be having Z conjugate conjugate. Now, if I have it one, two, it means I'm conjugating it two times. The same thing is equal to what? Our Z, where we're coming from. Now, if I have the last one, which is number four, number four, if I have something like dot, now this one is something as what? Uh, absolute of what? Of square of this. That is what we are talking about. Now, that is all about that. Now, okay, that is what we're talking about. That is all what I have for you on this video. Once again, for the Solutions Academy, help us to share our video and also subscribe to it. Thank you for watching.